In this episode, we cover how to install peel and stick vinyl wallpaper plus a vanity light and shower handles. When I came outside this morning and Bill spent the part of the night in his little house. Yesterday I prepared this space by smoothing out some cracks. Today it's time to put up the vinyl wallpaper. It <clears throat> comes in a roll 20 inches, 20.5 inches across. I'm not sure how much you're supposed to overlap it. Maybe there's going to be some information in here when I open it up. Then I want to, I'm just going to mark where each kind of roll will be on here. A nail biter to see whether we have enough coverage here. We have 30 square feet, but we, and we have some areas that we don't need to cover, but they're odd shapes and you have to get everything to line up. So I might wind up burning through a lot more of this paper. Than we're using the Sojourn collection from Stacy Garcia Home. This is basically contact paper. And there are some directions. I need to start by uh, drawing a straight vertical line here for my first strip guide. Given my history of needing multiple takes to do things, uh, I'm a little bit nervous about this, but you know, there's nothing to it but to do it. Here we are, 20.5, here's my vertical line using the level. I often prefer to measure things, but I will follow their advice and do the level. Sometimes, you know, so next, um, supposed to uh, basically start. Uh, yeah. yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to start. And uh, I start by putting this up here. And uh, they say overlap. Ow, got a paper cut. Dang it. I put time for a band-aid. I don't want any blood all over the uh, new wallpaper. Someday it would be funny to do a how-to video of how to get all these weird angles. The answer is uh, I use a lot of blue tape <laughs> to hang the phone up. The big, big things you want to do is uh, make sure you get your vertical right, which is why I do that line there. I don't want it to come off at a weird angle. Yeah, this is totally easy to do. <laughs> Not. Do what they say and over like this. I think that looks pretty rad. Despite my best intentions, I did not get this vertical right here. But I will be able to cut this side, cut that with a razor. And then over here, this last piece is small. So I'll just overlap onto the wall a little bit and cut it. And I think the pattern will hide the fact that it's not perfectly vertical. So I need to uh, find a spot on the roll that matches, and that should be no problem, right? Just go like that or something? Yeah, that goes like that. Unfortunately, I need to be way up from there. Like that. 
I'm guessing. First you don't succeed, cry, cry again. Pretty sure this is exactly how you're supposed to do it. <laughs> you don't want to know how much cursing that required, but we're making progress. So all those YouTube tutorials that show you how to do this on a flat wall, those people, they're they're slacking, man. Because what you really want to try for your first wallpaper attempt is having many cutouts and a lot of odd shapes. That will really <laughs> that'll make your life much, much more uh, bright and colorful. Or at least make your language much more bright and colorful. Well, I've made it this far. Unfortunately, I need to go take a break uh, right over in there. All right, just had a break to go look at something and uh now i'm back to the wallpaper the question right now is do i have enough wallpaper to cover these last two spots and uh especially because i have to match the patterns let's find out First, I'm going to check the piece that I have. That was, uh, where did I go? Oh, I cut this off the bottom of this one. Yeah, on there. Obviously. So, on to the next piece. I thought this one would be relatively straightforward, but this corner is turning out to be quite complex.
I'm a bit frustrated because we have all this extra and I just need to cover this little patch, but it needs to match. So I need to figure this out. But each one of these rolls is like 50 bucks. So if I can do it, that would be a pretty good score. Oh, wait, 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 I have one more option. What else can be done? So this chunk is right. Put that piece up and see. I'm going to start by making a cut right here. And placing it up there and cut right there. And I'll see what else I can figure out. All right, so we got one puzzle piece missing. And um, I'm gonna, I think uh, I had a flash of inspiration. I'm gonna deploy my secret weapon. My secret weapon, of course, being that I am an artiste. And therefore, all I need to do is just come up with a piece that looks at home in here. And uh, we'll be good to go. It's just like doctoring something up in Photoshop, but in real life. I think that might be a pretty good solution right there. I'd say that was a pretty green hack right there. I've never guessed, looking at this, that there was something amiss. Alright, we finished the wall with 30 square feet of stuff. Now I have to trim away all these loose bits of the knife. Well, with the wallpaper up, I might as well put the light up so I don't have live wires. Alright, so step one is securing this mounting bracket up. And I got the power off at the box, but just to be sure, I want to just... Yeah, we're good. They don't have this in the directions, but I'm going to use a level here to just make sure I got this at the right level. I've got everything connected, and I'm ready to tuck the wires up into the wall when I realize I left the nuts to secure it down on the floor. Right there. And I am holding this up with my hand. Just had to hang it up there and pray. Got the two knots with me now. Nope. Two. The DIYer. <laughs> you want to uh, deal with that before you get to this point. So here it is, the uh, finished accent wall. There's going to be a mirror right here, and the vanity here. Can't really see at all where I covered up this piece right here that was missing. Yeah. And, of course, standing here in the shower reminds me that I need to um, replace these shower uh, knobs. Okay, so I got one of them on. Here's the trick with this uh, this guy is uh, first you put on this little clamp here, and then you have to put on this. There's not really any depending. Sorry about mumbling. Hey, you know you can always fast forward through these videos too. It looks like I need two hands here, but you get the next piece on. Now I just tighten the screw up. Pop the little hot symbol on. Hope this is hot. Otherwise, I'll just switch the symbols and I'll just switch the handles. And we'll go modern 
day filmmaking, a little off skew. Um, works and that one works. Yeah, this is the hot I had it right. Somebody's coming to Safeway with me. Oh yes, are you a good boy?